so today we have a haul. It's not like a huge haul, but I did want to get a few things um, in preparation for the new hamster at some point and also a few things for the new beta fish that I'm going to be getting at some point as well. I thought I would go ahead and show you guys um, some of the things that I ordered online. I did get them online. I ordered from Petco online and then I also ordered a few things from Amazon. So I guess we could start off with some of the things that I got from Petco online. This right here is the box that I got. Um, all I did was open it and kind of peek in there, but I thought, you know what, let's just do it on camera. I can't remember a few of the things that I ordered, but I can't remember. I can't remember like all of them. I mean, I could easily check, but I'm kind of lazy to go and check, so let's just be surprised, shall we? <laughs> yeah, I already see the things that I had forgotten about. Okay, so this is just my little Petco receipt. It kind of stinks though, it doesn't tell me um how much each piece was say the packaging wasn't that great I that they would have like bubble wrapped some of the stuff but it looks like everything is intact so that's that's all that matters i got some of these items for a little bit cheaper because um petco online was having like this sale or something sometimes it's just nice to have things shipped to you instead of like going to the store even though I, I feel like I practically live at Petco sometimes. First thing that I ordered I thought would be really really nice for Patch or Mochi and I thought it would be really cool to use for the future new hamster as well and it's this big piece of driftwood. Actually really really big and a good decent size. I was worried at first that I was going to get like this tiny little piece of wood or something. This was really really nice to see because it's just huge and it'll be really fun for them to you know go up and down and go underneath and all that fun stuff. Usually these are really really expensive at the store. I think online I had gotten it for like $11.99 or something like that so this was I thought in my eyes a really really good deal. This one is by the, what is it called, Max Driftwood Collection. I did order this from the reptile section. I'm just really excited to have a decent size um, driftwood piece. I went ahead and ordered some Animal Lovin's Apple Strudels by Sunseed. Packaging just looks like this, super super cute. The only thing, like I said, I was a little bit upset at is I wish they would have bubble wrapped this because I can see that some of the cookies are like really crunched and be because of the box being probably like, you know, thrown around. So I see a couple of cookies on the bottom being kind of crunched up, but other than that, I really wanted to try these out. I believe I've had these before in the past and my hamsters really enjoyed them. So I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and try it out with Patch Emoji and I'm just really excited for them to taste it. Then I went ahead and ordered some more cheesy chews. My hamsters love these so much. These are probably like my top like favorite chews for the hamsters. Um, sometimes they can, they tend to be a little bit more pricier. So I try not to get them all the time, but they were only $2.99. And I was like, yes, we are definitely gonna get some of these. Oh, I got some more of those. Next thing I got was by the You and Me brand and it's the Wood Hideaway House. It is so cute. Again, I used to have one of these, but I don't think it was by the You and Me brand. So this is like a completely different brand. I'll take it out of the box and see what it looks like. It looks like it's the same kind of house though that they used to sell. I'm just really, really excited about it. It's super cute and I think it'll be great for um, the new hamster as well. And you know, of course, Patch and Mochi can use this as well, but I did want to get a few new things for the new hamster. So I'm really excited about this. So the last thing that I got from Petco, it comes in this little box right here. And I think you can only get this exclusively online. They just put like a few chew toys and like random chew toys in this little box that you can get. So I'm excited to see what we got. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh yay, I'm so excited, hold on. The first thing that we got is this little hanging kebab chew toy. It does say guinea pig on it, but that's totally fine. And the pieces are, oh my gosh, I'm 
dropping everything. Anyway, so I just think it's really, really super cute. We also got like just a random piece of loofah. A wooden apple chew with some loofah on the outside. This cute little chew as well. I'm not sure like what it is, a plum or it's supposed to be like a strawberry or something, but it's super cute. And then they also included the little apple chew, which I adore so much. I love this little chew toy. I know that when you get these like by themselves, they can tend to be like, I think almost up to $4 or something. So this being included in like a whole little box of chew toys was a really, really good deal. Inside is just some loofah pieces, which is really, really sweet. And I don't know, I just really, really love the apple chew. Okay, so now we are off to some of the items that I got from Amazon. This is gonna be the last hamster item and then I just went ahead and grabbed a few things for the betta fish. Since I do have my heart set on a little robo, I went ahead and got the six and a half inch silent spinner. Go ahead and ordered the green one. It's just super cute. This patch can use this as well since it is six and a half inches. So if I wanna like switch it out from time to time, so I just thought it was, and it was for a good deal. It's a lot cheaper online than in store, so I was very, very happy about that. Now we're off to just a few of the beta supplies that I ordered, and from all the research that I have done on beta fish, um, I had learned that a sponge filter is probably the best way to go, because a fast flowing filter is not great for betas, and um, so, from everything I read, I went ahead and got a little sponge filter. This is what the box looks like, and when we open it, it looks like this. So it's just a sponge filter, and this little tube right here just goes on the top like that. That is the first thing that I got. Now, to go with the filter, I definitely needed to get a air pump, so I went and got the Tetra Whisper a <clears throat> whisper air pump and this is I believe the smallest size if we take it out of the box let me show you guys what it looks like this is what it basically looks like it's like in a shape of a little dome it's actually really really cute and to connect the air pump to the filter I did need some airline tubing so I got this one right here. I will be able to connect everything together. And also I ordered these little air um, valves right here. So when I do connect the filter with the air pump, I can actually slow down the flow or make it faster. So this is basically what the little valves look like. And when you move them, you can actually adjust um, how how fast and how slow the filter is going to be moving so I definitely wanted to get that and they're so super cute they're like little they look like little faucets a few little things that also came with it I think I believe this right here this piece right here is something I am gonna need as well when I do hook up the airline tubing. That is just also something that I wanted to get, um, so I'll be able to adjust things if I need to. The thing that I wanted to show you guys, I did not order online this time around. I had it a while back ago when I thought I was gonna be getting um, the Fiddler Crabs, and it was just some water conditioner. This is the one that I had picked up. I'm gonna be using this water conditioner for the time being. I believe there is a different brand that like everyone is using so once this one is empty I am going to be getting a different type of water conditioner um, but for now we're going to be using this one that was my little haul for you guys I just kind of wanted to show you what I had ordered slowly starting to get some of the things to set up my beta tank I'm really really excited about it so if you guys remember that bookshelf that I had brought in I apparently wasn't thinking further um, you know obviously if I'm going to put a ton of water in a 10 gallon tank it's going to be around like 80 80 pounds you know on a shelf and I just thought oh my gosh yeah that's probably not going to work so thank you to everyone that like you know brought that to my awareness we definitely don't want anything bad to happen or to fall down I did take the bookshelf back out of this room and I do have a different shelf in here um, that's gonna hold the tank perfectly fine. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be putting the tank on um, when we start putting the tank together. There are a few more things that I would like to get for the tank before we start setting things up, so I'm not sure exactly when it's gonna be, but once I got everything, 
then um, I will go ahead and make that video for you guys. I'd like to stick around to see, you know, me getting ready for my beta tank and bringing my new hamster home very, very soon. We really, really do hope that you'll subscribe to our channel. As always, I have all of my social media links down below if you guys want to stay up to date with us. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in my next one. I love you guys. Bye.